Hi everyone, this is my killer kit and layout share for my August Light Forever kit, which was the Oh So Lovely kit. Um, and this one contained all the lovely products from um, the Crepe Paper Wonder collection, and it has lasted me a long time. Today is, uh, well, we're into October now, and yeah. It's lasted me an awfully long time, so I'm, but I'm calling it done. Um, so I'm going to show you what I've got left. This is what's left of that garland paper, and you can see in a lot of these shapes, like in my last Killer Kit video, I've got lots of circles punched out, and that is because I've been making my own flare. So I tend to do this um, at the end of kits using what I've got, I look for the, the nice bits or the good patterns and put a heart on them or the, these birds, that one, that one and that one were actually from this cut apart and they're all in a row so I've just punched them out and then these hellos part of the happy hello paper which is there and um, yeah so they will go into my little stash so that's all I've got left of the cut apart so those were the birds that was um, a bunny I think yeah that was him little bunny let them be little um, and then that was a number five, which is there. Um, so yeah, that's that piece. Same with the garland piece. I've used some circles from this side and heart. This is the piece of the happy hello that I cut those hellos out of. Uh, that is this flare. So it says so much love and it's just the inside of that tag. Um, yeah, that's the corrugated, oh, knocking things over, the corrugated cardboard and done some backgrounds with that and used heart punch. Uh, this is all that is left of the cardstock that came in the kit, so this was the black and this was navy. Navy was used up pretty quickly and the black will go into my stash because it's just really handy for outlining photos. Uh, this is the biggest piece of paper I've got left. This is the Happy Hello from the Wonder Collection and I just really struggled to use it. This is, I mean I think I'll more likely use this side than this side. This just makes my eyes go funny if I stare at it too much or if it's moving around. It just, I don't know, I have used obviously half of that but I think I'll stick with this side. And then the vellum I have been hoarding. I do not want to use this at all. No, not at all. So this will go into my stash where I will continue to hoard it. Uh, so that is the paper. Now on to the embellishments. So we got the enamel dots and sequins in the kit. So <laughs> you can see I've pretty much killed those, but those five <laughs> will go into my stash until they are completely gone. Uh, puffy stickers, four left. I even managed to, in fact I will show you in a minute where I managed to use the, the rabbits and cats and stuff because I'm not, I'm not a rabbit cat person so those are pretty much gone and these will definitely be used at some point. Thickers, I will call them killed. I can't make any more words. I have tried, I've got no vowels and yeah, I can probably try to use the numbers, but I'm, I'm calling those done. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to do with those. Um, die cuts, I've got a lot of the child ones left. So little you, little one. The love will probably be used at some point. That's uh, one of the cut parts, so that should be with the paper. A wild spirit, toys unlimited. These masks, I think I am gonna bin because I can't figure out how to use them. 
and they look creepy without eyes. Um, the tent, uh, yeah, little bits. So, uh, I mean, I've used a fair bit. And these flowers are actually from one of the pieces of paper that I've fussy cut out of, so that's what's left of the embellishments. Um, we had a package of paper clips that were from the Amy Tan Stitched Collection in the kit, so all I have left are the two bunny rabbits and a house, which is pretty good. I think I've done quite well with those. Not sure how I'm going to use those rabbits, but we shall see. Uh, we also got washi tape, which I've still got a fair bit left, but I have been using it, and you can't really, I mean, washi tape is okay to go into the stash I think. Okay let me show you the layouts that I made. So we'll do these in order. So um, I will link below to the playlist uh, for the August kit so you can see all the ones that I've made process videos for um, and if I can remember I'll point them out as I go along. So we've got um, Smile and this was the first one I did and there's you can see the washi tape and this is where I used a lot of that blue straight away but I did gut out the middle so <laughs> that's why I've only got a little bit of that blue cardstock left there is a process video for this one then we've got Dairy Cottage which there's that vellum look one of the only pieces I used and this was a this was a sketch it out video with um, myself and Claudia Van R. So this will be in the August kit playlist, but it will also be in the sketch it out playlist as well. This one is Penguin Time, and I've used one of those paper clips there. Look, and yeah, I really like this one. You can see I really tried to use those stickers as well. Um, which would explain why I've got none left, or I have, but I can't use them. Um, so that's Penguin Time, uh, Beach Day, I uh, did some gold embossing on this one and some splattering, some stamping, that was a, that's a, I think that's the October afternoon roller date stamp. So yeah, and this one I used up the last of the vellum from the July kit too as well as a DIY flare, so I do use them. Uh, this one is called Hello Cuties, and the Cuties is using the alpha from the Pink Fresh Studio, which was the July kit. Uh, so I've still got those, they're still in my stash, and I am trying to use them. I used a fair bit of the, I used a couple of the puppy stickers and enamel dots and the sequins on this one. Uh, this one is called Good Times, and on this one I folded back the paper, so this is that garland paper. Uh, another one of the paper clips, fussy cut some of those flowers, and quite a few of the pieces on this one are actually from a Heidi Swap Mr. Balls die cut pack, so that's the uh, stars, the smile pretty, the title actually, Good Times, and the camera. So that Good Times I used the distressing in black soot and just rubbed the ink pack in ink pad straight across it to get that really nice dark black which was good. This one is 50 and fabulous and there is definitely a video for this one and on this one I used two of those paper clips um, and lots of those fussy cut flowers, the puffy stickers and the enamel dots and sequins. I really like this one. Um, this one is called Remember This and Wonder, and this layout, this uh, process video, uh, went up today, I believe, so I'm gonna, I think I upload this on the same day. And you can see I used some of that vellum there as well. I thought because it was Harry Potter and it was magic, it needed a bit of, a bit of gold sparkle. You can see on quite a few of these layouts I have used the, the washi tape in the, the corners. This one is called Chow Time, and this was made again for a sketch it out video. And I've used those paper clips again, uh, the puffy stickers, um, splatter. Yeah. 
And this one is my attempt at a grid layout. There isn't a video for this one because I was just sort of playing around. And I've got the enamel darts and puffy stickers and paper clip and I've really tried to use quite a lot of what's in the kit. Okay, and I said, because I bet you're thinking I haven't spotted any of those rabbit puffy stickers on there. Well, I've added to my Lardy Da book, which is it took over from my smash book. So let's see. I'm go from here. So I've got um, TJ's again with Laura, so I've got some pepper. I, I allow myself to be a bit more random in my la di -da book, so I mean the rabbits have got nothing to do with with going to TJ's, but I'm quite happy to stick them there because it's random and I like it. <laughs> um, that's one of the wood veneer stickers from the last kit as well. I've got uh, a layout from my birthday, so I'm using some of the, the numbers from the thickers. That was a cut apart, the puffy stickers, a little bit of vellum. Uh, that was from a cut apart as well, and that was a die cut. Um, layered lots under here, so I've got a bit more of the vellum. Uh, one of the die cuts that was cut in half, that was the one with the cat face on it. Um, this. I use this page because this was called So Many Projects, So Little Time. So this has recorded all of my layouts that I've made since the 20th of July, which is when I really started to do um, process videos and that kind of thing. So from the 20th, 20th of July all the way to 27th of September, which was, yeah. I really like that page. And then I've used some thickers and I had to dot this one to get a U and it's a bit of a weird looking U because it was a D and I've cut the top off but like I say this is my Lardy Da book so I'm quite happy to just stick soft stuff in and I've used uh, one of those house paper clips there as well. So yeah, I think I have done a fairly good job of killing that kit. So. This is all I've got left and I look forward to starting my next kit. So see you soon. Bye.